Thank you, Madam Acting Deputy Speaker. Geelong is lucky to be well serviced by Bowen Health, a fabulous hospital network which does a great job in our region. But Bowen Health itself acknowledges that the part of Geelong which is in most need of medical facilities is the north of Geelong. Their studies indicate this by indicating that there are diseases which are more prevalent in the north, such as diabetes, and that there are less services in the north to support them. What's needed is a facility which can extend those services into the north and provide for day procedures. Uh, and this is what is now the desire and ambition of a number within Geelong. Uh, at the last state budget, the state government committed $50 million to building such a, uh, such a facility in Geelong South, in Warren Ponds. That's obviously a great result for Warren Ponds. It actually didn't meet the area of greatest need within the Geelong community, which is Geelong's North. It is now a, a screaming issue and one which must be met. Uh, there are both federal and state roles to be played here, Madam Acting Deputy Speaker. To be fair, principally, this is ultimately going to be a decision of a state government to provide the bulk of the funding for the building of such a facility. But the federal government can play a role in leading the way. At the election, I was very proud to be able to make an election promise on behalf of Labor that, if elected, we would have provided a million dollars to do a lot of the preliminary work to get such a facility off the ground. By contrast, uh, the Liberals promised absolutely zero, which was consistent with their attitude across the board in Geelong and particularly in Geelong's north, where there wasn't a single election commitment made to the people of Corio. In Saturday's editorial of the Geelong Advertiser, there was a call for the federal government to take a lead, notwithstanding that it didn't make a commitment during the election, but to not let this issue die. And I echo that call by saying that there does need to be a commitment made by both the federal Liberal government and the state Liberal government to come to the party and make sure that we have a proper medical facility in Geelong's north and that the north of Geelong not be ignored, as it has been far too long, by the Liberal Party. On that topic, Madam Acting Deputy Speaker, I also want to mention the, the issue of Avalon Airport and Jetstar. This is a critical test for the Abbott government and the Napthine government to do what it takes to make sure that Jetstar remains, have, continues its service at Avalon Airport. Carping at Linfox, frankly, has been an outrage on the part of the Premier of Victoria. We are lucky that we have a comp company there which has a long-term vision which is going to be needed for this long-term play. It will be a mistake for Jetstar to leave uh, Avalon, which is at the heart of one of the fastest growing regions of Australia, Melbourne South West, and I call on them to hold off their decision for another year uh, to give Avalon a chance. I call 